motivated by the reality that he will stand before God accountable to him. Not only because of the love of Jesus for him, but the mission given to him. What do I mean by mission? Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5 as we close. We are ambassadors for Christ. See, Paul understood this. We are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were making an appeal to us, we beg you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. You must understand, Paul was given an assignment. His, his assignment was to be God's ambassador. Do you know you and I are ambassadors? Everybody read this together. Therefore, everybody, we, we are, are ambassador. ambassadors for Christ. Christ. What is the meaning of the word ambassador? Ambassador is the highest political position you can ever have in a foreign country. You represent the king. You represent the president. You have one duty, primary duty. Represent the country. Represent the president. Represent the king properly. You deliver his message. And the message is very simple. The message that God wants you to, to deliver is this. We beg you on behalf of Christ. Everybody, be reconciled to God. You see, God is telling us you have a big mission. And your mission is to tell the whole world, be reconciled to God. My friend, many years ago, Kublai Khan wrote a letter to Pope Gregory X. In that letter, Kublai Khan told the Pope, send me 100 Bible teachers. If you can convince my lords, if you can convince me that Christianity is better, my leaders, my barons, myself, we will be baptized and we will follow you and we will become Christians and the people under us will all become Christians. What did the Pope do? He never understood the seriousness of sharing the gospel to these people. At that time, Kublai Khan controlled one-fifth of the entire geography of the whole world. From part of China, all the way to Europe, all the way to India. I mean, Kublai Khan was powerful. How many did they send? Only two. And the two priests did not even make it. They did not make it to Mongolia. Guess who went to Mongolia to preach? The Buddhists. And Kublai Khan made a Buddhist monk the chief teacher of the Mongolian Empire. His title is the preacher of the state. Today, the Mong the Mongolians are mostly Buddhists. Why? The greatest mistake of Christianity. We failed to deliver the amazing gospel of Jesus that God loves them, that there is forgiveness of sin. Why? We never understood. You and I are ambassadors. You are very important. Let me ask you a question. Have you been reconciled to the Lord? You see, the message is very clear. Be reconciled to the Lord. Can I tell you why it is so important? I want to give you a bonus verse. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Do you know if you come to Jesus, this is the promise, then I'll give you the bad news. First, the good news. The good news, if you are reconciled to God, this is the good news. First Corinthians chapter 2. Everybody read. As it is written, as it is written, things which eye has not seen, ear has not heard, which have not entered the heart of man. Everybody, all that God has prepared for those who love him. If you love Jesus, because you know him, you are reconciled, your future is amazing. The certainty of the amazing future you and I will have. However, if you are not reconciled to God and you have not surrendered your life, what will happen to you? Well, let's look at this verse. Look at 
2 Thessalonians chapter 1. Everybody read. When the Lord Jesus will be revealed from heaven with the mighty angels in flaming fire, dealing out retribution. That's the word for justice. Dealing out justice to those who do not know God, to those who do not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus. What will happen? This will pay the penalty of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. Do you notice the consequence of not being reconciled to God? You will pay the penalty of everybody read? Eternal destruction. Eternal destruction. The word destruction does not mean annihilation. In the Greek, the word destruction is loss of well-being not annihilation. It's a bad place. Look at what it says. Away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. But to you, to those of you who know Jesus, what is the promise? When He comes to be glorified in His saints on that day and to be marveled at among all who have believed, for our testimony to you is believed. You see, there's going to be a difference between God's people and those who don't know Jesus. My friend, how are you reconciled to God? Very simple. In the time of the Apostle Paul, the Roman Empire will send ambassador. And the ambassador will go to a country that has been conquered and offer them a peace treaty, the term of peace for reconciliation. They will adapt you in the Roman Empire provided you accept the term. And that term is called the term of surrender. If you want to be reconciled to God, you do not dictate to God your term. You accept the term that God is giving us. And the term God is giving us is very simple. Will you surrender the rebelliousness of your heart? You have been rebelling against me Will you surrender and come to Jesus and recognize Him as your King, the King of Kings? And that, my friend, is the good news. If you surrender and you come the King of Kings, what is His promise? You are reconciled. And when you are reconciled, your future is amazing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, question as we finish. Are you reconciled to God? If not, I will pray for you. Secondly, secondly, to those of you who are already reconciled to God, can I ask you to join this amazing movement? I want you to join this movement so that you can be trained. So I will present to you a place where you can click. If you want to be part of this movement, those of you who are watching us on the internet, you have been with CCF, but are you part of the movement of Jesus Christ as ambassadors. I'd like you to become his ambassador. How